What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave. Today's shaving soap of choice is going to be this one right here. From HCNC or Hendrix Classics & Co. This one is Emperor Oud. Here is the label on the side. Really, really cool looking label. Love the samurai on there and really, really nice colors. Very generous amount of soap here. Uh, this soap was sent to me as a Christmas gift from uh, Six Eight Shaves or Josh Justice. Uh, I want to thank you, Josh, for sending me this. He was my secret sa Santa in uh, one of the shaving groups that I'm in on Facebook. So thanks again, Josh, for this uh, soap. I really, really appreciate it. He does have a YouTube channel. Well, I just said that at Six Eight Shaves. I'll leave it linked in the description below. I will also link um, a link to Hendrix Classics and Company in the description below with the scent notes and the scent profile of this soap, along with everything else that I use in here today, except for the brush here because I got this brush at Maggard's. I'll see if I can find it online. If I find a, you know, a, a replica of this brush, I'll uh, link it. So this is a Frank Shave brush here. I call it the Crazy Zebra. I have no idea what it's called. It's just my nickname for it. It has a Maggard's Badger knot in there, and this is a Best Badger. I'm going to be finishing off the shave here with their matching aftershave balm, which is Emperor Oud. And the razor I'm going to use today is the Guarantee. One of my uh, favorite straight razors in the den here, and it's a really, really nice razor. Really like this razor a lot. Love the scales. So I'm going to step off real quick. I'm going to get a, the brush uh, locked and loaded, and I'll see you in a second. Got the brush all locked and loaded here. Plenty of lather in the brush. More than what I probably need to, uh, more than probably what I need for what I actually have to take down. I'm only taking them down about a, uh, maybe about two days worth of growth. I did have a shave the other day. I've been uh, using this soap off camera and I really, really like it. Good base, easy to whip up. The Artisan is from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and I love Nashville. Nashville is an awesome, awesome city. If you ever go to Nashville, I gotta recommend Hattie's Chicken. If you're a fan of uh, fried chicken and want to indulge in some unhealthy food, <laughs> try Hattie's Chicken. Hattie's Chicken. It's freaking unbelievable. So the soap is um, in scent strength, I would say is light to mid strong on a one to 10 scale. It's a three and a half off the top of the puck. It's very, very light. When you lather it up, it jumps up to about a four and a half out of 10. The scent is a nice woody, oody, type of scent um, and it's mid uh, I would say it's not overly sweet but there are some sweet notes to it but not an overly sweet wood scent or oud scent I should say gonna paint a little more water into this this can take an awful lot of water it is thirsty and I'm just going to keep the lather a little bit on the thinner side because I don't have a whole lot to remove here. We're probably just going to see if I can get away with one pass, but I'll probably end up having to do two passes. Super, super slick. As you can see, a lot of, res a lot of residue left over when you wipe it away. Uh, this I could have probably hydrated a little more, but... For what I need to do, I'm good. I'm good. So here we go, pass number one. Apologies if you can hear the uh, TV in the background. My daughter's room is right next to the bathroom. And we are currently snowed in right now. 
got a little bit of snow falling out there and we're gonna be going out to play in it real soon. I'm gonna be going out and shoveling it while my daughter goes sledding. My son's already out there. First thing he did when he got up was he got a snowsuit on and he went right out. All right. I love this razor. Such a great razor. So get a little water into the brush here. I'm just going to paint another coat of lather on. Really nice brush. I love this, uh, brush that I picked up at Maggard's. Love the colors. And I got it for a really good price. It was actually in the discounted uh, area. I got it for about 25 bucks. So not a bad pickup for 25 bucks. Fragrance of choice today, by the way, is going to be Emporio Armani's The One, or I think it's called, uh, oh no, it's called Stronger With You. I'm thinking of Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana is called The One. This fragrance is uh, Stronger With You. It's a really, really nice fragrance, uh, kind of a spicy, nutty type of fragrance. I really, really enjoy it. Lost my razor there for a second. Some of you may have noticed that I trimmed my mustache down. My wife is not a fan of the handlebar mustache. So I trimmed it down to see if she would like a little bit of a shorter mustache or more of a type of chevron type mustache. And she likes it a lot better. I, th I think she still prefers me clean shaven, but she likes this. Let me rinse up real quick. We are just going to put a little bit of this uh, balm on here. There's the balm. The light might be uh, distorting the image a little bit. I had to move the camera into a different uh, angle because my camera, actually the holder broke and I've got it rigged up onto the wall right now. Let me know if you like this angle a little better. I think I like the angle a little better. I think I'm going to keep it this way. It works out really nice. Very nice balm. I'm not a big fan of shave balms, to be honest with you. And uh, when I first got this set, I was like, uh, you know, I don't know about this balm. I like aftershaves, balms tend to clog my pores and give me uh, acne. But this one so far, I haven't had any breakouts, so good balm, I'm happy with it. That's gonna do it for this shave, ladies and gentlemen. Everything that I use, except for the Frank Shave Brush, unless I find uh, a Frank Shave Brush, the, the one that I have, will be linked in the description below. Take care. See you again soon for another shave.